Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick here with What I'm Watching, and today I'm going to be discussing the film Rough Cut, directed by Chris Leto. Chris was also co-directed uh, Die Die Delta Pi with Sean Donahue, and uh, he uh, contacted me and asked me if I could check out his film. It's getting ready to be released in the next few months, and I was like, hell yeah. The, you know, I love the guys at Gator Blade, and uh, they've you know put out several great films that I've enjoyed, so I was really looking forward to this. Um, it starred three people, Mike Dufau, Tanya Christensen, and Aaron Nelson as the main characters. Uh, Mike plays a independent filmmaker named Jack. Uh, Tanya is Jack's wife, and Aaron Nelson is uh, labeled as Inside Man. He's like the studio head executive. But uh, the movie revolves pretty much around those three people. You know, there's other people in the movie, but those are the featured. Um, the movie was written by Jeremy Westrait, who also directed it. Franklin, A Symphony of Pain, which we just talked about, and uh, the movie was produced by Chris Leto and Jeremy Westray. Uh, there was also a cameo by Joel Weinkoop and Bob Glazier. They played uh, two bums in an alley fighting it out, and they were funny. They had uh, great lines, as always. I love seeing those guys in the movies. They're, they're some of my favorite character actors, you know. You see them all the time, and you just... You grow to love the guys. Anyway, so let's get quick getting mushy and get to it. Rough Cut. This movie actually was completed two years ago, but uh, it was in a post-production nightmare hell, uh, according to the director. He had, by the time he finished the film, it was like two and a half hours long, and, you know, not a lot of people will sit through that long of a movie, and, you know, there's just like a lot of long-running scenes, and uh, he had to make some hard decisions and uh, come to what was best for the audience and for himself and he trimmed it down and really released a solid product and I think he made good calls. Uh, I'm going to actually get to check out the extended version uh, thanks to Chris being a nice guy and allowing me to and uh, but let's get to it. Okay so the movie starts out with an opening scene from a horror movie and uh, the clip you know shows a guy in a mask chasing a chick and all that. Well uh, that was like a movie within a movie because the, uh, Jack was showing it to the producer head and the producer was like, look, you know, we like your project. This was the first movie he was going to get to direct, by the way, so he was really excited. But you know how Hollywood and the studio system is, they yanked his budget. So they're like, look, we're still interested, but you got to fund it. So, you know, Jack's feeling very dejected. He goes home to his wife. And his wife is, is not a very supportive, nice lady. But, uh, you know, at first she's like, okay, we're going to fight the studio, you know. She's more worried about the money aspect of it. She's like, you've been shooting and doing this. And then, well, Jack reveals that he doesn't, he's only shot 12 minutes of footage. And so she's like, what have you been doing these last couple months? And, you know, basically accuse him of being a bum and following his pipe dreams. And, like, uh, her being the one, being the one wearing the pants and earning the money. And just really busting his balls. So, you know, Jack's just going through it at this time. So, you know, she she even goes as far as to tell him that she's banging a cop and she wants a divorce. So Jack kind of goes off the deep end. Well, he goes out and he, you know, he wants to, he's got an impending divorce, financial ruin. He's sleeping in his office. The landlord's giving him hell. Well, you know, he needs to do something. So, uh, you know, he's kind of lost, drifting, walking the streets with his camera. And uh, he stumbles across two, uh, hom he stumbles across two homeless guys in an alley. And, uh... That's when the, the spark of inspiration strikes, and uh, he pays them to uh, fight it out. Now, this movie was made a couple of years ago, so this is before the really trendy, you know, uh, I know Bum Fights was even before that, but, you know, the whole Bum Fights thing blew up, and it seemed like everybody was making kind of movies like that down the line. Well, so, you know, there's, there's still lots of originality here. But uh, basically, you know, he gets the guys to fight it out, and he's like, yeah, this is good stuff. Well, then later on, he sees a mugging, and uh, this guy's like, you know, bitch, I'll fuck you up. And he's taking her purse and stuff like that. And he, he films that. And so he's like, yes, yes. He, he's like, he found what the film was missing, the inspiration, that violence in real life situations. Well, you know, as it keeps continuing, it just escalates further and further. And then he starts going out and kidnapping people and killing them and videotaping it for his film. And making, you know, and he, he goes totally off the deep end and um this dude man this actor mike dufau uh dude i want to see him in more stuff he's got one of these faces that's really familiar and uh he just just knocked it out of the park in this movie i really enjoyed him 
because like I'm telling you like you know so this guy's going around he's kidnapping people and killing them but when he's killing them he, you know he ties them up he's torturing them and he taunts them he fucks with them and he the way this Mike carries this character Jack he he nails it man because I could see like a crazy person acting the way he is and like taunting him and saying stuff to him and it, it's this movie is a pitch black comedy it is a horror movie but it is also a dark ass comedy because there's tons of comedy in this movie because this guy loves to taunt the people he's killing and just like he's totally it's a man who's like his mind is broken and he does his filter's gone and he doesn't give a fuck anymore and he's just like off it's like a toned down jim carrey way toned down but just going out and having a homicidal good time and uh the only thing that this movie lacked, there were a couple sequences where it was really dark and I couldn't see what was going on. And uh, in around the 30 minute mark, there's a part where he's torturing someone in the background. There's this high pitched like buzz or like a bell or something like that. This is a technical problem. It's something in the score though. And it kept on going. It was really annoying. I was like, I wanted to like, if it was an animal, you know, I'd be like go outside, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, but uh, the special effects were a little rough uh, they could have been better I think if he would have had someone like Marcus Cook doing the effects it would have really given this movie a whole new level of awesome but there are, there is gore and the effects are there and they're they're decent but I'm spoiled you know I'm used to you know the top-notch cream of the crop so uh, so the effects could have been a little better but story-wise and acting I really enjoyed this uh, some of the shots were a little awkward. There's a part where he catches this guy jerking off. <laughs> he comes in, he's making this face. He's like watching him. He's like, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny. You guys got to see this flick. And, uh, you know, he starts choking the guy to death. But, and he gets on top of him, and it's a weird angle, and it just kind of looked funny. But uh, afterwards, he cuts the guy open and starts painting with his blood, and that was cool. And, uh, like I said, there's some very creative kills in this movie. Uh, just uh, the effects, you know. Ooh, Braxy, settle down, Bobby boy. Anyway, I loved it. Rough cut was up. Hey, you're ruining my video. Sorry. About Come here. Come here. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Gotta show the puppy some love. Anyway, Rough Cut, directed by Chris Leto. It's coming out in a couple months. I highly recommend it. It's got some really just chilling moments in it, especially at the end. Uh, I won't tell you because I don't want to spoil it. I'm not a spoiler. But uh, this movie's awesome. I mean, there's plenty of killing, plenty of titties, plenty of uh, com dark comedy. And if you like uh, just crazy motherfuckers with a sense of humor, you're going to love this movie. I really enjoyed it. And like, and like the things that I said that I didn't like about it, you know, the technical aspects, I thought also that might have been, like, you know, since the movie's called Rough Cut, you know, maybe... Hey, shut up. Maybe the film is, you know, that's why there were rough aspects to it to, to go with the title. But anyway, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but like I said, he starts killing people, filming it, and then he takes his finished product to this, back to the studio head. And uh, then the end of the movie, something strange happens. And I'm not even going to discuss it because it's left open for interpretation. But uh, it's very interesting, and uh, it added another another level of depth to the film. So I, I like this. I like this movie. Two thumbs way up. Uh, thank you, Chris, for letting me check it out. Uh, I'll have all the links and stuff down at the bottom. And thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is Nick. Keep it sick. Later, guys.